Good morning, little ones. Today, let's take lesson number three. That's food, health, and and hygiene. Health, when I say, is a person who is not sick, who is not injured, or doesn't suffer from any pain, is said to have good health. If a person requires good health, he needs to have a balanced diet, roughage and water, and exercise and rest when i say a balanced diet it means that the body requires appropriate amounts of nutrients this nutrients if taken in proper quantity or appropriate quantity is called as balanced diet when i say nutrients it means carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins our body requires energy to do work the nutrient that supplies the body with energy to do work is carbohydrates carbohydrates can be got from rice wheat and vegetables like potatoes that are rich in the sources of carbohydrates Protein is another nutrient that helps the body to grow. It also helps the body to repair any tissue that is worn out. This protein can be got or can be found in meat, fish, poultry products and also in legumes like dals and beans. Fats is another nutrient that gives us energy much more than that of carbohydrates but then the body has the capacity to take this energy and store it it also helps in keeping the body warm but too much of this fat is unhealthy because it makes us overweight or fat fats can be found in oils meat dairy products like butter ghee cheese fish poultry products and nuts vitamins is a very important nutrient of our body because it protects our body from diseases our body needs vitamin a b c d e and k it also requires minerals like iron calcium phosphorus and iodine these four minerals also help the body from protecting it from diseases roughage is another important source that the body requires remember that the body cannot digest roughage when i say roughage it is made up of fibers and it adds bulk to our food it helps the muscles of our digestive system to push food through the intestines until the waste matter is thrown out now you get this fibrous food or roughage through food plants or through green leafy vegetables water plays an important role in our body more than 2/3 of our body is filled with water now this water that is present in the body helps to control the body temperature it also helps in the movement of nutrients oxygen and waste in our body the next topic we we are going to speak about is cooking and food preservation you know nutrients are destroyed when food is cooked in an improper way or is stored very carelessly so you should remember certain things if we wash cut fruits and vegetables the nutrients are washed away so we should wash fruits and vegetables before we cut them we should not overcook food because they can destroy the nutrients present in the food always remember to store food in uh, the refrigerator the other ways in which you can preserve foods 
is either by dehydration that is by removing of the water that is present in the it in the food item or else by sweetening the food by making jams or adding sugar to those products so that they do not they can be preserved you can also do preservation of the food product by adding salt or making pickles out of them or even canning them these are the ways in which food should be preserved or should be cooked now let's talk about diseases when we say diseases there are two types of diseases one is communicable disease and the other is non communicable disease when i say communicable disease a disease that can spread from one person to another a disease that can be caused by germs these diseases are called as communicable diseases for example common cold you have flu measles malaria tb all these are examples of communicable disease when i say non communicable disease they are diseases that do not spread from one person to another it is caused due to certain deficiencies in vitamins or due to allergies or and uh, they do not they are not caused by germs when i say communicable diseases there are ways in which these diseases spread one is they can be infected from food or water if the food or water is infected or unclean then that person can be infected either by diarrhea typhoid jaundice or cholera there's another method of a communicable disease and that is through direct contact direct contact is when the person uses clothes toys or kerchief and the healthy person goes and uses the same thing that is used by the sick person then there's a chance of this person getting the diseases through direct contact with the products used by the sick patient another way is through through the air if a person sneezes or coughs or spits then there's a chance of the disease spreading to the other person close by there are diseases that can spread through insects for example you have the female anopheles mosquito that spreads the disease called malaria dengue and there are other ways like plague that spread through insects if you have a damaged skin then communicable diseases can be spread through damaged skin it is the skin that protects us if if you have a damaged skin then germs can enter the body easily through the damaged skin in order to stop the spread of communicable diseases here are a few practices that can help you to be healthy brush your teeth daily morning and night and pos- and if possible after every meal have a bath daily especially after coming from the playground wear clean clothes that are dry trim your nails and keep your hair clean wash your hands with soap and after every meal wash your hands after you come home from the school and the playground do not share your towel or your personal belongings when you are not well keep your surrounding clean make sure there are no stagnant water near the house cover the garbage bins eat clean well cooked food and keep it covered do not buy food or drinks from the roadside shops when you lack certain nutrients there are chances of you getting diseases for example if you have a deficiency of protein it can cause a disease called kwashiorkor if you have a deficiency of protein and carbohydrates it can cause marasmus in the same way if you lack vitamin a you will get night blindness in order to get vitamin a you need to eat green leafy vegetables orange fruits and yellow fruits 
If you lack vitamin B, you get a disease called beriberi, pelgara, anemia, anemia, nausea, and tiredness. But if you want to get vitamin B, you need to eat fish, meat, poultry products. Vitamin C helps to protect your body tissues. If you have a deficiency of vitamin C, you will get a disease called scurvy where the gums in your jaw, in your teeth starts bleeding and there will be swellings at all your body joints. In order to get vitamin C, you need to eat orange, lemon, tomato, cabbage, guava, gooseberry. Vitamin D is got from sunlight and from dairy products. If you lack vitamin D, you will get a disease called rickets. It causes the soft bones that bend. The bones become soft and bend. Vitamin E is got from vegetable oil, nuts, green leafy vegetables, papaya and whole grains. If you lack vitamin E, you will have skin problems and heart disease. Vitamin K is got from spinach, lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower. If you lack vitamin K, you get bleeding and weak bones. Vitamin K can help the blood to clot. Iron is a mineral that helps to make the red blood cells. Calcium helps in making the bones and teeth strong. Iodine helps to control the body growth. If you lack iodine, you get a disease called as goiter, which is a swelling that is your neck. Phosphorus is another mineral that is that helps in giving you strong bones and teeth. Most of all, after you having a healthy food with nutrients and a balanced diet, you need to make sure that you exercise. Exercise can develop strong muscles and bones. It can help you to keep your weight under control. It can make your body very flexible and your mind becomes very active and it, it, it can reduce the stress. Another way in order to be healthy is to make sure that you have proper rest because this proper rest can help to repair and heal the body. So we should sleep for around 7 to 8 hours every day. This will help you to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. Thank you.